Gold, precious metals pairing earlier losses after an unexpected drop in January housing starts, but is still on track to snap a nine-day winning streak as bad economic data continues to roll in. Euro-Pacific's Peter Schiff says, bring it on. It's bullish for gold from here. Peter, I know that you tend to be a gold bug, uh, and you uh, constantly say to buy gold, but why specifically now are you hot on the metal after it was, uh, quite frankly, a loser last year? Well, you know, it was down one year out of 13, so gold can't go up every year, but I think it's well poised to have a very big year in 2014. I think the change is that last year, too many people were operating under the delusion that the U.S. economy was actually recovering, that the Fed's uh, policy had worked, they were getting ready to wind down the QE. I think in 2014, people are going to wake up from that delusion. I mean, right now we're getting a lot of uh, bad economic data. Yes. People are still delusional because they want to blame it on the weather, but it's not the weather. And as the weather you know, warms up, we're going to run out of excuses. But Peter, people are going to realize how weak the economy is, that the Fed is re getting ready to crank up the QE, not wind it down. And I think when everybody Peter, figures out how wrong bring, they bring have the U.S. To, economy, they're going to rush to buy gold. But hmm? bring it to now. And I, I, I aim to challenge you on this just because I, I think that we need to show the other side of this trade. And that is that gold is down today and it may be snapping that nine day winning streak because <laughs> we're waiting on the Fed minutes at the top of the next hour. But isn't the trade here the reason why gold's down five bucks heading into this uh, to the minutes? Isn't it down because we've gotten that weak economic data and that may lead to the Fed slowing its tapering and that could strengthen the U.S. dollar and lead to a sell off in gold. No, Isn't that the actually, easiest way to put it? Actually, you got that backwards. If, if, if the Fed slows down the taper, that is bearish for the dollar and bullish for gold. But you don't have to try to explain a five dollar decline in the price of gold after nine consecutive up days. I mean, it's barely down. I mean, markets don't go up every single single day. Okay. So it doesn't have to be an explanation. But you know, the day isn't even over yet. Right. How do you know where gold's going to be that's at the right. end of the We're, day? That's Mike why Cole's we have positive. you on, Peter. You've got to tell us because people people are very but, interested in gold at these levels because if, if it indeed does return to levels that we saw uh, highs around $1,800, $1,900 a, a troy ounce, we're talking about gold on sale at $1,300. Oh, it is on sale, and it's going a lot higher than $1,900 an ounce. That was just the most recent high. But this bull market has been going on for a long time, and it's got a wrong, long way to run. Uh, thanks to the policies that we're pursuing here in the United States, now that you've got Janet Yellen as the uh, Fed chairman, I think she's going to be even more bullish for gold than Bernanke and Greenspan were. And gold did very well uh, under uh, those Fed chairmen, but I think it's poised to do even Peter, better now. Peter, in here, and I'm going to challenge you again, because everybody's interested in talking gold, because most financial advisors do recommend that we keep gold in our portfolio. But give me something. No, they don't. No, but, they, but most make this most real. Financial make advisors me, no, laugh make at me their understand that you are just the gold. consummate gold bull that we all know you as. And is there anything that would that could happen that would prevent you from holding or buying or accumulating more gold? What would happen? What could the Fed do? What could happen in the economy <laughs> that would send gold prices down? Well, if the Fed actually did the right thing for a change, which I don't think is going to happen, if they stopped the QE, if they started to unwind their balance sheet, if they started to raise interest rates and let the stock market tank, let the real estate market go down, let a natural re in, uh, recession run its course, force the U.S. government to dramatically cut spending and mm -hmm. restore you know, fiscal balance to the U.S. economy to allow a legitimate recovery to ever take place, yeah, then I would get bearish on gold. Okay. But as long as the government is going to keep on doing the wrong thing, stimulating consumption and debt and inflating asset right. bubbles, I'm going to keep on buying gold. All right, and Peter, so Peter, far, Peter, that I have has to been the right we have thing to, leave to do. It there, you but had I'm, one I'm on, year where it didn't work. Peter, i got to leave it there, but yeah. I'm on Twitter now and I'm following you and I want to know right now, we have to leave it there again, just in one word, where are gold prices going from here? Higher. Price. <laughs> No price? That's one word. All right. Okay. All well, right. you well, said one word. All right. Higher. Thank you very much. <laughs> I meant They're going price. a lot higher. Just all right. buy. All right. That's Peter another Schiff, word. I'll, I'll be tracking you. Thank you so much for joining us. It was a us. good gold <laughs> battle. Okay. Very good.